And just like that, your girl is back. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Ali Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my music is now available on like all the streaming platforms, so you should be streaming. Otherwise, we're staring at you like this. Make sure to check out my merch too at Outfits with a Z dot art because it's wonderful. But now that that self promo is out of the way, it's been a little while since we've done some more episodes. So uh, here I am. And if you see me in the same outfit, I just went and recorded a bunch of them today. So you may see me in the same outfit. But without further ado, let's do this. Another flashback as usual. Bravo, Miles. Very well done. Of course. He looked mad though. What's wrong? You almost played that perfectly. Miles, you can talk to me. What's going on? Um, nothing. Why don't we end practice early today? Gianna's waiting for you. Thanks, Mrs. Moon. Well, that sure cheered him up. And did. Cause he gets to see his girl. You're not yourself today. Are you mad at me? Mad at you? Of course not. Then what's wrong? Do you think I can stay for dinner tonight? I don't want to go home yet. Yeah, I'm sure my mom won't mind. She loves to show off her cooking. Thanks. So why don't you want to go home? The tea. My dad's mad again. Oh no. I swear, he's usually the nicest guy. He never hurt a fly. But whenever he drinks, he gets mad and mean and they fight and yell. S sometimes I get really scared. I'm so sorry, Miles. You can stay here forever if you want. Aw, we can build a secret fort for you in my room. She's so sweet. We can have lots of snacks and watch all our favorite movies. And you won't be scared anymore. Yeah, I think I'll stay here with you forever, Butterfly. Aw. Episode 13, he can't keep his hands off me. T. <laughs> he do like me though. Oh yeah, Miss Class, right. Shit, I'm late. Here we go. And then I call that girl a bitch, so. <laughs> Will someone please let me in, please? Nope. Hello, you're late. Yeah, by three minutes, sorry, it won't happen again. For your sake, you better hope that it doesn't. You will have to find a way to make up today's work on your own. Come on, I was right here. I just had to take a call from my mother. I don't have time to listen to your excuses. Be on time from now on, or fail, the choice is yours. Please, this is my first time being late. Can't you just let me in? You know the rules. Maybe if you'd actually cared about your future, you would have made more of an effort to be here on time. But maybe if you weren't such a cranky bitch. Oh, went off. No, wait, I didn't mean, get away from my classroom, Gianna Moon. You just caught yourself a meeting with the dean. Yeah, forgot about that. We going through the deeds. And he laughing. It's not funny. I don't usually do stuff like that. Uh, yes you do. You've always had a mouth on you. <clears throat> a mouth that I can't stop thinking about since our kiss. Ah! A mouth that I dream about being wrapped around my- Oh! Miles! Huh? Uh, never mind. You're not even paying attention again. Trust me, I'm paying attention. My mom's gonna kill me if she finds out. Oh, speak of the devil. Here we go. That's her? Yeah, but I'm in no position to speak to her right now. I need a break from her. She doesn't realize how much she's setting me back. Don't let anyone set you back. It'll be okay, love. Just wait to see what the Dean says. Maybe they'll let you off easy since it's only your first time calling a teacher a bitch. <laughs> wow. He's just making jokes. I think this is all fun and games. Wait till I call him one though. I'd like to start by hearing your side of things, Gianna. It's Gia. She doesn't have a side, I already explained. Let her speak, please. I was three minutes late to class and Miss Stout wouldn't allow me in. I overreacted and called her a name, a, a very mean name. I'm truly sorry, it just slipped out. I didn't mean it and I promised to never do it again. Hmm, I'm extremely disappointed in your reaction. It is unacceptable to speak to your professors that way and something Arcadia will not tolerate. A shame, really, you had so much potential. Please accept my apology. I was only a few minutes late. Being here at Arcadia Academy means everything to me. I'm so sorry, Miss Stout. Can I just have one more chance? I don't think the words you chose to throw at me deserve another chance. 
Excuse me, Miss Stout, but that is my decision to make. Right. And I'm not too fond of throwing away a student's future all because of one mistake. Gia does seem very remorseful for her actions. I am. I know I was way out of line. Even though she was totally being a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Only a warning? As punishment, you will have to do community service on campus. Huh? We're quite short staffed these days, so you have two options. You can help clean the stables for the polo team or clean the bathrooms and locker rooms after basketball practice. Um, I'm cleaning the stable. What? Stables or bathrooms? But, but horses freak me out. And so do toilets. Would you rather we force you to withdraw from this semester as Miss Stout recommended? No, no. I guess the stables will be better than cleaning up leftover poop stains from the basketball team. Ew. Great, you'll start next week and carry on until the end of the month. Consider yourself lucky, Moon. I hope I won't have to see you again under these circumstances, Gia. You may end up with a lot worse than a warning and community service. True, so let me be careful. Let me keep my comments to myself next time. Dude, this is so sick. You really are the best. Glad you're happy with it. Call me once it's healed and I'll get you back in and finish the color. Aw, you were just the cutest. Oh, they, they flirt now? Not cuter than you. <gasps> oh. But I really think you'd be even hotter if you grew your hair out a little more. You could style it better so you look just like Miles. She is obsessed. Hey Gage, I got a girl who wants her belly button pierced. Do you have time today? Yeah, tell her to come on in. Miles, hey. You here for an appointment? We've been hanging out a lot lately. But I am thinking about getting my nose pierced. Just like you, what do you think? Hey mom, what's up? Ooh. Don't take it personally, babe. He's like that with everyone. She's mad, cause that's Chrissy McKay. I'm a little busy these next few days. Why don't I take you out for dinner next week? But this is important to me. I haven't seen you in a while. You never come over. Because I can't stand to see that man you married living in my father's house. It's my house too, honey. And Patrick's away on business for the next few days, so he won't be around. Away on business, huh? I have a hard time believing that. Don't worry about him, Miles. I already invited Adora and Jin. I'm really hoping they make it. And I thought you can bring Gia. It'll be like a family dinner. We should probably get used to these since you and Gia are getting so close now. Oh my God, it's already starting. You're gonna embarrass me in front of her. I swear I won't whip out your naked baby pictures if you promise to come. Oh, got him. Fine, we'll be there. But one bare bottom baby picture and I'll never step foot back into that house again. Or will he? Let's just see. It's giving California. Ooh. We're still working on getting to the hitman and metamorphosis. So in the meantime, we're going for Giuseppe's. Patrick did some research and it's one of the most lucrative Italian restaurants on the West Coast. Tank and a few of us were scared some sense into the owner and have it under our wing in no time. Oh, Mandy, Patrick wants updates on Miles and the girl. Uh, nothing new. She's back in school. He's just been working like nothing happened. He still hasn't gotten it, huh? Come on, you know Miles is a fighter. He was never gonna back down easily. And his little butterfly is a lot more resilient than I gave her credit for. I guess we didn't scare them enough. Do we have to permanently get rid of them or what? Kill us? Take us out? Oh my God. No, let's not take it that far yet. Patrick will not be happy to hear you're still protecting him. It's not about that. Miles and I are over. Really? I actually have been thinking we should take a step back from metamorphosis. I've been doing my own research and have come across something better. Go on. The luxury car shop downtown. They work on all these crazy expensive foreign cars doing tens of thousands of dollars in work. It would be an easy cover up and bring us in way more money than the tattoo studio. Interesting. Patrick wants metamorphosis for personal reasons, but I'll run this by him. He'll see how much money they can clean and won't even have to think about it. Good work. So, you busy tonight? We can have drinks in my place. I told you we can't go there anymore, Ricky. Oh. Why? Ricky was trying to get with her. Who is this? Oh, Patrick and the new girl and that girl. I don't remember how her voice sounds though. The wife thinks I'm out of town, so we'll have the night to ourselves. Yeah, just one night and then you go back to that old hag. Didn't I tell you not to talk about her? It's not fair, Pat. I want more than a few days with you. 
I want more than a diamond necklace to make up for you being away. How about matching earrings too? Really? Aw, oh, thank you, baby. I'll bring them to you next week. Now shut up and stop your complaining. Oh no, who was he talking to? And she just going, I won't wait around forever. You're really starting to piss me off, Shayla. Oh, I don't understand. Just leave, you don't even love her. You told me that you never had real feelings for her. You said you were just using her. I just said not to speak about my wife. Oh, I'm not doing this with you again. We only have a short time together and I want to enjoy it. Then when? Because I'm tired of only being your part-time girl. Don't you think it's time we take the next step? I should be your wife. Oh. Let's get some things straight. She's my wife, you are the other woman, nothing more. You are only here because I allow you to be. Oh my goodness, and she's sticking around too. Step out of line again and I'll take back that nice little apartment I set you up in. You lied to me, you've been lying to me all this time. I should have never believed you, you never leave her. I don't wanna hear it. You knew exactly the situation you were getting yourself into. No, I deserve more, Pat. You either tell her about me or I'll tell her myself. Oh, she about to get taken out. Tank, hmm. It's time for Shayla to go. Will you escort her out? What? Or throw her out for all I care. Pat, wait. You ever threaten me again? You ever speak of my wife again? And you will wish you never met me. And that's a promise I plan to keep, darling. Oh, snap. Well, at least he like defended his wife, even though he cheating on her, so like still trash. 34 pie? Hmm, sorry, wrong again. Crap, why do numbers hate me so much? I wanted the same thing, girl. But um, a friend of mine taught me a little trick. Take your time, write it out, and you almost always get the right answer. Oh. I hope that's not your boyfriend giving you shit again. No, I blocked his ass weeks ago, period. It's my mom. She's been blowing me up because I won't take her calls. Maybe now she'll get it for once and stop doubting me. Like, I'm doing my best, just leave me alone. Oh, sorry, I guess we'll talk some other time. No, I wasn't talking to you. Oh, here we go. Well, good, because I wanted to apologize again for the beach ball incident. Sports aren't really my thing. I'm only good with the other kind of balls, if you know what I mean. <gasps> Girl, Chloe. Uh, I gotta get to my next class, see ya, Gia. Does she not like her? So anyway, I had such a blast at the beach and I hope we can all hang out again soon. I really like you, G, and I want us to be friends. Be nice or be reluctant. She hit me in the face with that ball. And I also think she Chrissy McKay, cause we haven't seen Chrissy McKay in a while. So I'm being reluctant. Uh, sure, maybe. Oh my gosh, I have the greatest idea. You and Miles and me and Gage should go on a double date. Shoot, I just saw them this morning. I should have brought that up. You were with Miles? Uh-huh, he told me to stop by his shop anytime I want. Oh, cool. Yeah, Gage and I have been talking like nonstop too. Are you guys a thing now? Just hooking up, but who knows what it'll lead to. You were right, he is a really nice guy. Yeah, I hope it works out for you too. So, about this double date. Look, Miles and I aren't- Gianna, not pulling up at the school, huh? How about we plan for next weekend? We can go to a romantic dinner. Sweetheart. Dad, if you want, I can just ask Miles myself. Yeah, yeah, whatever, I gotta go. Oh. What the, what are you, why are you guys here? Thank goodness you're safe, my girl. Of course I'm safe, I'm off to college, not war. Mom had a bit of a breakdown because you weren't answering your phones. So we thought, why not check on you before going over to Bonnie's? Oh my God, you couldn't have at least given me a heads up? If you answered that phone you're always on, you would have known we were coming to town. But did you have to come all the way to campus and embarrass me? I was afraid, Gianna. I needed to see for myself that you weren't sick again. I'm fine, Mom. I don't know what more I have to do to prove to you that I'm better now. You look great, sweetheart. Healthy. And honestly, Arcadia isn't so bad. Cleaner than I expected it to be. Here they go, judging. I'm gonna be late for my next class, and I can't risk that again. We'll wait for you out front. Maybe explore campus a little more, then go over to Bonnie's together. No, you guys go on ahead. Miles said he's bringing me anyway. Anything you'd like to tell us about you two? Nope. If Miles is a new man in your life, I'd like to be aware of that, Gia. Don't worry, Daddy. You will always be the number one man in my life. Good to know, sweetheart. But you'll tell me if there's ever a number two man in your life, right? Yes, I promise. 
But after Keith, I'm a bit scared to jump into anything. I just want to focus on school and your recovery. Yes, Ma, that's what I was going to say before you rudely interrupted me. Oh, well, I'm glad you have everything under control. We'll revisit your other options after this semester. Whatever, I'm going to class. Have fun. Love you. They're too overbearing. Like, ew, I'm over it. The puppy, aw. Don't get the wool puppy. Okay, so outfit one, cute, love it. Um, let me see the other ones. Outfit two, okay, that's cute too. And then outfit three. I gotta wear outfit two, y'all. Outfit two is popping. And Gia's hair is popping non stopping. But let me change my lipstick. Boom. I look amazing. We changed the lipstick. Hair is always beautiful, so keeping that dying. I'll be ready in 10 minutes. Wow, congratulations. This is the fastest you've ever gotten ready. Here he goes. But it's always worth the wait. You do look very, very nice, butterfly. As do you. You should wear color more often. For you, I will. Ooh. Why don't we call my mom and cancel so we can have some alone time? She'll understand. No way. She's been texting me all day about how excited she is that I'm coming. But I miss you. I can't stop thinking about our kiss. He tilts my neck to the side and places three gentle kisses along my collarbone. My head falls back and then I let out a satisfied squeal in excitement. I'm convinced he's a magician. He has magic fallen from his fingertips that spell binds me whenever I feel his touch. Wow, she really like him. <gasps> I lift myself up to his lips and give him a quick taste. Oh, snap! He leans forward wanting more, but I stop him in his tracks by pushing my finger to his mouth. Looking him dead in those baby blues, I purr. Later. I think I've waited long enough, love. Your mom will be upset if we're late. Just give me a few more minutes. Fine. Not sitting on the counter. Are you just gonna sit there and watch me? Yep. Okay. Uh, he really is just sitting here and watching, huh? He really is. N never mind. I'm gonna wait in the car before I have to shower again. She is too excited. Hey, mom. Just look at you two together, finally. Whoa. Bonnie, you look amazing. I love your dress. Oh, you're so sweet. I don't really put myself together lately, but this is a special occasion. All right, mom, back off. You're suffocating her. I'm just so happy you're back, Gia. I hope you're planning to stay. You're going to stay with Miles, right? Mother. Or at least go with him wherever he goes. You can't leave again. Please don't leave him. You know, he was supposed to move to New York a couple years ago because mom, I need to talk to you. What has gotten into you? You're acting like a Looney Tune over Gianna. <laughs> I just miss seeing you happy is all. Jeez, I'm your mom. You can't get anything past me. I know you've never brought anyone around because you were waiting for her. And now she's back and I can see my mild smile again. Wow, let's just have a good dinner, okay? I miss your cooking. Good, because I made your favorite cheesecake for dessert. Why didn't you say so? I would have been here sooner. Aw. Goodness, Gianna, those shorts are a little short for a family dinner, no? No. Watch the attitude. Then lay off me. Everything I do is a problem for you. If you were focused on the right things, I wouldn't have a problem. I am focused. Just because it's not on things you want doesn't mean I'm going in the wrong direction. I'm finding my own way, Ma. Why can't you just accept that? because you're throwing away everything your father and I have worked so hard for. I'm not you or dad, I'm my own person. Girls, can we try to get along tonight? Bonnie's made a nice dinner for us. She's picking at me again, dad. Tell her she looks like a hoochie mama in those shorts. Oh, well maybe I like looking like a hoochie mama. <laughs> Why can't I just be me? You can and you should, but I actually think you are a lot more like your mother than you think. How so? Oh, well, you're both a little, um, uh, High strong. High strong? How could you, Miles? I'm not high strong. I am nothing like my mother. I meant it in a good way. What he actually means is that you both are very strong women who always stand up for themselves. Thanks. Don't worry, you'll catch on. You're right anyway. Sometimes they are a bit high strong. Just don't tell him I said that. Oh. Okay, dinner's ready. Adora told me you're a picky eater, Gia, so I made a little bit of everything. I hope you find something you like. Psh, I'm sure she'll find an excuse not to eat anyway. Oh, hate 
Sure. Thanks, Bonnie, but I'm not picky. Just, may I use the bathroom? Of course, you remember where it is? With all due respect, Mrs. Moon. Ooh, tread lightly. All the pressure you put on Gianna is gonna make her collapse. Oh, please. I don't put enough pressure on her. She doesn't realize how good she has it. I want you to know that when we were away, she tried some new foods, even thought about having a piece of pizza. Now, she didn't actually eat it, but just her thinking about it shows how much she's progressing. She got some bad feelings, and instead of letting them take over, she picked up the phone to call Daniel. Gianna may not do things your way, but she's doing whatever it takes, and that has to count for something. Miles, this isn't the time. No, Ma, let me finish. This is important. She's going to fall sometimes. It's inevitable. But you know better than anyone how strong Gianna is. She will always pick herself back up. And you should be acknowledging her efforts instead of downing her for every little hiccup. It's holding her back. You're hurting more than you're helping. Hurting her? I've done everything in my power to help. You weren't there, Miles. You don't know the things we went through, the pain I felt seeing her in the hospital. She was withering away right in front of our eyes. We blame ourselves. Adora thinks she should have realized sooner and I wish I'd never moved her away from Mariposa. Maybe things would have been different if we stayed. I can't imagine how hard it was for all of you. But the what ifs don't matter anymore because she's worked so hard to overcome all of that. She tries her very best in everything she does and all she ever wanted was for you to be proud of that. Yeah, drag her. All I'm saying is maybe take it easy on her so she can take it easy on herself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to check on her. He loves her, he's so sweet. I'm sorry, Adora. He didn't mean any disrespect. He's just passionate about the things he loves. You can't be mad, Adora, and you know he's right. Ooh. Yeah, think about that girl. Think about that right quick. Oh, what are you doing in here? Your old room. It's just how I remember it. Still smells like your sweaty basketball socks. <laughs> Come here, butterfly. I want to show you something. What? Grabbing her hips, I turn her around and hold her just where I want her. I push one of her curls out of my way, just as she pushes her backside into me. A smile quickly takes over my face because my happy place is having her right here close to me. While looking down at all her beautiful features, I plant a soft kiss at the bottom of her earlobe and whisper, look up. Cute, so cute, oh my gosh, Aww. Wow, I don't remember those being here because I drew them after you left. Miles, is it later yet? Oh, don't say anything or kiss him. Oh, I don't got no coins, but I'm about to get some. Make sure you uh, donate in the uh, description so I can do more things like this. Boom, we kissing him. She doesn't waste a second to jump into my arms and smack her luscious lips onto mine. I'm delighted to find that she's just a star for me as I have been for her. I let my hands travel across her body, feeling every bend and curve of her perfect figure, taking my time while savoring her taste before this moment ends and she leaves me again. Ever since I got that tiny glimpse of what it's like to have Gianna, I've been held captive. All I want to do now is touch her. It's like I can't stop. My body, my mind won't allow it. I'm consumed with only the thoughts of her. I almost can't believe she's real. Is this proof that dreams do come true? In this very room, I used to sit and draw my butterflies while wishing she would come back, dreaming of the day I could hold her like this, kiss her like this. She glides her tongue across my lips, exciting me in all the wrong ways. I grab her harder. She responds by kissing me deeper, as if we just exchanged another one of our dirty little secrets. Ooh. He touches me like he can't get enough. He feels me like it's the last time he ever will. I couldn't help but jump on him. I waited too long to be able to touch him freely. My body, my heart was craving it. Pressed together as our tongues tangle, it was like we were trying to connect as one, as if that's exactly how we we're meant to be. <gasps> Not her right there, mom. I didn't mean to interrupt, but dinner was getting cold. Bonnie, please, you can't tell my parents. They suffocate me and they'll blow this way out of proportion. There's just some things I want for myself and don't worry, Gia, your secret's safe with me. Thank you, Bonnie. No need to be embarrassed, love. You heard her, our secret is safe. Aw. Jin, Moon, nice to meet you. What? Yeah, you too. Look, Bonnie, your husband was able to make it after all. You didn't tell me you were having company, darling. It's 
extreme company by Ali Fitz. I cannot believe he's here. Look at Miles. I knew she was going to set us up with something like that. I knew it wasn't going to be a nice dinner. It's never a nice dinner. See now, Bonnie, why did you have to do all that, girl? You could have just invited everybody but him, but you had to go and make it this. Now we about to have an awkward dinner, but if you want to see that awkward dinner, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know about this tea because it's about to get hot. And if you want more episodes, like the video too. And don't forget to buy, stream, and download my music because it does indeed slap. Check out the merch. The link is in the description and probably in the comments, you know. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step.